It's been a while since I did a trends video and I was doing quite a bit of research last week and I just came across some amazing ideas. So I thought it wouldn't harm anyone if once in a while I did another trends video. Except rather than just tell you the trend and let you get on with it, I actually have some practical advice that I want to share with you at the end of the video on how you can actually use these trends to get more sales. So first, let me just tell you the tools that I use to actually come up with these trends. I've used Bubble Trends, I've used Redbubble, I've used the Google Keyword Planner tool, I've used Amazon, I've used the Redbubble Tag tool, and finally I've used Pinterest trends. Those are the six platforms, six places I have used to gather this information and make sure it's extremely relevant for today. I'm now at my computer and we're gonna start with the first trend and I'm gonna give you some data around some of these trends as well rather than just show you the trends. So the first trend as we can clearly see is cute wholesome bee. It has 5,084 results and this is on Redbubble. This is actually trending on Redbubble at the moment. This is really interesting because I remember a while ago I had a lot of people sending me bee specific designs. I'm not saying bee specific, bee specific designs. And they, they didn't really do anything. They didn't really do very well. And what I'll say to all those people who sent in those B designs, try again because you might actually have a shot. It might not be specifically B wholesome trending designs that you sent in, but the fact that it's within the same keywords, and you'll find out a bit about that later, but the fact that it's in the same keywords, it could do quite well. So we can clearly see, you know, there's a whole bunch of designs here. You've got stickers, you've got t-shirts, there's a lot of room to grow and the cool thing about it is I don't necessarily relate this bee, cute wholesome bee to a specific kind of design. So you've got cute wholesome and cute wholesome here. But I feel like lots of different types of bee designs would work. Feeling bee beautiful, that could work, right? Kind or quiet. So I think any bee related design could work for this trend. So let's move on to the next trend, which is don't look for love, look for coffee. And I really like any trend that has anything to do with coffee. It's so easy to create multiples. So this one is a cat and it's coffee, right? This is another cat and coffee. So it's so easy to relate a coffee design to another niche. And then you've kind of got like a super strong trend there. So this has 3,513 results, which is very, very good. And this one is don't look for love, look for coffee. So you, you're mixing those two niches. It's just, oh, it's very, very easy to mix coffee in another niche. Again, try and be just a bit different. So try and be slightly different. Instead of just going for don't look for love, look for coffee, you can try anything. Don't look for blank, look for coffee, right? So don't look for, a car, look for coffee. It literally can work with anything. So what I'm saying is use this as a baseline trend, but branch out a bit because then you'll have a lot more chances. The next one is bigger than basketball. And I actually like this design for multiple reasons because firstly, I love the sport of basketball. And secondly, this is just, it, it has so much potential and the designs here just aren't very good. I mean, really, those colors just clash on all levels of clashing. And you've got 1,093 results. So the competition just isn't that high. And oh, I love the coasters idea is very, very cool. And you could even do like a custom product on Etsy where you can have a basketball t-shirt and you can allow them to pick their custom number and their custom name. And because it's print on demand, everything can be custom. Now, the main reason why I think this is going to get bigger and bigger is because of a movie called Space Jam. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of Space Jam, but Space Jam 1 came out a long, long time ago with, you know, Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, and Michael Jordan. And what's the date? I've put here the date, the 16th of July, okay? 16th of July, Space Jam 2 is coming out with LeBron James. So there's a huge potential for the basketball niche, the basketball trend, to kind of blow up when that movie comes out or, or just before that movie comes out. So 
I'm not saying that this bigger than basketball has anything to do with Space Jam 2, but I definitely think it's only going to get bigger, if not, you know, wider. There'll be more opportunities to sell something in the basketball niche as soon as this movie comes out. Now, also, I just want to quickly say, don't go off and sell a Bugs Bunny t-shirt, you know, with Space Jam, no copyright, none of the stealing stuff. Use Space Jam, use, you know, LeBron James as the starting point, but don't use them in your designs or your marketing, okay? Just keep it separate to that and allow the searches that that gets to help you get sales in your basketball, you know, design. The next one, which I thought was rather interesting and I don't know, but the next one was Zombie Jesus. The people have spoken. This is what this is what people want nowadays, and that's completely cool. You got 424 results, which is nothing. But anyways, you got Zombie Jesus. Uh, this is my horror chicken, Zombie Jesus. So clearly, people want Zombie Jesus designs. Now, I did something crazy here, right? I really wanted to see, like, really, Zombie Jesus? Is that a thing? So I used a Google Keyword Planner tool. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna discover some new keywords. We're gonna put in the keyword Zombie Jesus, right? And we're gonna select the United States as well because obviously we would wanna sell in the States, one of the biggest areas to sell print on demand. Click Save. Let's get some results. 1,000 to 10 thousand searches for zombie Jesus and then you've got zombie Christ which is a hundred to one thousand this is a serious serious like idea I mean the fact that it's getting one to ten thousand searches a month on Google is quite a big deal for print on demand that's quite a lot of searches for print on demand and the fact that there's only 500 results in Redbubble shows there's a lot of room for you to get in there so yeah Zombie Jesus it is. And finally, the last one, Mandela's Dotted or Mandela Dotted. Now, I've always liked this design, this style, this trend, and it's got 1,534 results. And if you want to learn how to make these, I know Juna from Detour Shirts actually has an incredible video that shows you exactly how you can make these really cool mandalas. But I really wanted to see how popular this was. So, well, firstly, I'm seeing it's very popular on stickers more than t-shirts. I think it just looks better on stickers, so bear that in mind when doing it. But I did a little Google search just to kind of see, you know, what's it? What, what, what's the popularity like in Google? So let me just put in mandala. That's what I searched for originally, right? And you've got, for Mandela, 100,000 to 1 million searches per month. What? What? That's insane. Now, I know Mandela is quite broad, right? And the idea that Mandela's dotted is what's trending. But it doesn't matter because the word Mandela will, you know, also kind of be trending because of that like more niche down trend and you've got mandala flower 10 to 100,000 colored mandala 10 to 100,000 mandala with an s space weirdly 10 to 100,000 and then you've got all of these which is a 1 to 10,000 searches and of course the main search being just mandala of 100,000 to a million searches this is huge absolutely huge and it's for this reason right this google search reason that i feel the Mandela trend is not just a trend, but it's an evergreen trend. So don't just think, oh, you know, let's create a design, it's gonna be oversaturated, it's gonna be out in a week. This is a trend that isn't going anywhere. This is just not going anywhere. This is for the last month, okay? So definitely when getting into the Mandela trend, think of it not just as a trend, but think of it as an evergreen trend that, you know, could grow for a very long time, right? The next two, the next two are interesting ones. The next two I'm not gonna show you on the computer. The next two trends, you've got Mother's Day in America, which is the 9th of May, and you've got Father's Day, which is the 20th of June in both America and in England, okay, and probably other parts of the world as well. Now, these two trends, the reason I'm not showing any design in specific is because I don't feel that there's one specific design that is gonna do well. I think so many different designs can do well for Mother's Day and Father's Day. 
it's such a huge day and actually Father's Day is my most popular day when it comes to print on demand. I've made thousands selling Father's Day t-shirts. So definitely give it a go. And the reason I like Mother's Day and I like Father's Day, well, besides the fact of the day, it's a great way for you to get your first sales on Redbubble, get up the ranks in Etsy, you know, get those first sales in Etsy, get up the ranks and get out of whatever tier you're in on Amazon. If you're in tier 10, it can help you get out of tier 10. If you're in tier 25, it can help you get out of that tier too. Just using this trend to get those boosts of sales will really help. So personally, what I think you should do is, yes, you know, you could use all of these trends that I've just talked about, but I think what could be really, really powerful is to go and create tons of Father's Day, tons of Mother's Day designs on Amazon, on Etsy, and Etsy you can use Printful integration, and I actually have a video which you can check out on how to do that, but you know, Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, I'm starting to explore a platform called Motif, which I'm finding really interesting, and I'm definitely gonna make a video about that, but just, you know, put these designs on all different platforms because I feel like this kind of design, Mother's Day, Father's Day, could get you out of a, a rut that you're in, or if you're not in a rut, it could just get you extra sales. So those are the seven trends for this video. Now for the practical advice bit. The fact that I have made a video on trends might make it slightly harder for someone to actually get into one of these trends because it might be just a tiny bit oversaturated depending on how many views this video gets but don't let that be a bad thing it's not a bad thing right you just have to make sure you approach these trends from a different angle so one don't just create t-shirts create lots of different types of designs create stickers backpacks hats leggings you have no idea what could work or what might stick and then just you know, fly to the moon basically. And another thing you have to consider is some of these designs, like the mandala design, right? Some of the designs I shared in this video will look better on certain items over other items. For example, a mandala design, it looks so much better on a sticker than it does on anything else. It also looks okay on a t-shirt as well, but for a sticker, it looks really, really cool. So bear that in mind when approaching these trends. Number two, I've made sure to keep Mother's Day and Father's Day quite broad. I didn't go into specific design ideas for those two days, and that's because I don't want to kind of fill your mind with the idea that only specific ideas work, because with Mother's Day and with Father's Day, so many different designs can work. Literally thousands of different variations of designs can work, so just, broaden your mind when you're thinking about those two days and just, you know, bombard the internet with as many designs as you possibly can. And three, finally, instead of taking these trends that I have shown you in today's video at face value, right, so rather than just search for the top selling trend and kind of copy their design, but just tweak it a tiny bit so it's not exactly the same and then try and sell it, instead of doing that, what you could do is you could use these trends as just a starting point to find out what else could sell in and around a specific trend. So you can use a Google keyword planner tool, you can use the Google keyword planner tool, you can put the trend in and you can find anything similar that comes up, even if it's under the same umbrella trend, right? You could still design something, but you can just see similar keywords, similar ideas, similar designs that will still rank for that particular trend, except no one else is really selling that specific design, right? And then you can start creating designs around those, I like to call secondary keywords, okay? And once you do that, you'll start, you know, uploading your designs. People won't have seen them before, but they'll be searching for them because they relate to that original trend. So it's a great way to get traffic on other designs that people haven't seen before. And that's it. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And don't forget these trends, these ideas, don't just relate to Redbubble. They relate to every platform, Re um, Etsy, Amazon, you know, Teespring, just all the different platforms. They relate to anything, your own website. So just factor that in when you are, you know, creating trend ideas. And I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching.